stuff works explained if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing to this channel you can also hit the notification bell so that when we upload a new video you are notified in today's video we'll be talking about nairobi mombasa expressway which is also known as usahihi expressway the feasibility study that has been submitted to kenha will be asking some critical questions we'll be looking at what this uh, report contains and what it should address and uh, given that this report is not public uh, we'll be raising questions on what uh, probably should be expected uh, once the review is done ever strong capital a united states based infrastructure management firm has submitted a detailed feasibility study to the kenya national highway authority kenha for the proposed nairobi mombasa expressway which is also referred to as usahihi expressway the document spans over 2300 pages and marks a significant procedural step in the implementation of the project which is structured under the public private partnership ppp model according to the firm the study outlines key technical legal financial environmental and social elements that would influence the planning and construction of the 459 kilometer tall road kenya is now expected to conduct an internal review and forward the findings to the national treasuries ppp directorate for further evaluation the feasibility report is described by the company as a comprehensive aiming to demonstrate full compliance with kenya's ppp framework it includes a technical breakdown of the proposed expressway design estimated traffic volumes tolling structures investment frameworks and environmental impact assessments everstrong capital representative during the handover stated that the project is fully developed from a planning perspective and ready for the next stage however what specific risks have been identified what assumptions underpin the traffic and revenue models these questions will be likely feature in the upcoming validation phase by the kenya authorities the firm has indicated that it is in process of securing approximately kenya shillings 466 billion or equivalent of 3.6 billion us dollars in private capital to fund the project with the construction projected to begin in early 2026 the subject and this subject to government approvals whether this timeline is realistic or given the matured approval process and potential land acquisition challenges this remains to be seen the expressway is projected to cut travel time between Nairobi and Mombasa from current 10.5 hours to about 4.5 hours which is a significant reduction additionally the project could affect regional trade logistics labor markets and land use patterns while this suggests potential for economic benefit how will the road construction and operation affect communities ecosystems and informal transport sectors along the route these are details that perhaps are contained in the feasibility study preliminary indications suggest motorists would pay between kenya shillings 12 and 13 per kilometer in total fees the context i mean for context the existing Nairobi expressway charges uh kenya shillings 18 per kilometer how will this pricing structure impact the affordability particularly for frequent users such as freight operators and long distance transport services again this is subject uh, that is probably well explained in the expressway uh, feasibility study which is a document that is not public yet the expressway will be one of the longest toll roads in africa designed as a four-wheel dual carriageway the proposal also includes integrated infrastructure such as wildlife corridors electric vehicles charging stations renewable energy components these elements raise questions about implementation feasibility and long-term operation cost how will these features be maintained who will bear the ongoing operational responsibility and risk once the expressway is commissioned these are also questions that perhaps will be answered once the feasibility study is detail, is uh, reviewed in details the feasibility study covers the following core areas one there is engineering and technical design 
which uh, is road alignment, construction fixing, as well as material specification. There's also traffic modeling, where current and projecting vehicle volumes, congestion analysis, and toll uh, revenue scenarios are covered. The financial structure, capital cost estimates, funding sources, return on investment, projections, and uh, risk sharing mechanism. There's also the environment and social assessment where land acquisition biodiversity impact the settlement planning and community engagement uh, strategies are covered there's also the legal and regulatory review where compliance with kenyan land laws ppp regulations and as well as environmental standards among other regulatory uh, areas are covered then there is implementation timeline from financial close to construction milestones as well as commissioning this study now moves into critical review phase Kenya National Highway Authority or Kenha will validate the technical findings before the Treasury's PPP Directorate convenes a multi-agency review team. If the project is deemed viable, it will be forwarded to the Cabinet for final approval. The review process is expected to take approximately three months. Uh, let's now move to capital mobilization and domestic investment. In a separate but related development, EverStrong Capital and CPF Capital and Advisory Limited, a subsidiary of CPF Group, have signed an agreement to jointly lead a 1 billion USD uh, capital raise. The funds will be sourced through a bond issue intended for listing on the Nairobi Security Exchange, NSC. Institutional investors, including pension funds, insurance funds, and fund managers under the Park Hunters Club, PHC, are expected to participate. This initiative represents a rare example of domestic institutional capital being channeled into large-scale infrastructure development. While this is being held as a step forward in financial self, in financial self reliance. I mean, this, this has been held as a step forward in financial self-reliance. Questions remained about the investment risk exposure, regulatory oversight, and exit strategies for the investors. All these details probably will be availed once uh, this plan is ready. What are the strategic implications? The Usahi Expressway is aligned with Kenya Vision 2030 and could, could play a role in enhancing trade under the African Continental Free Trade Area. The route will provide faster alternative to the current Mombasa Road and could facilitate smoother cargo movement between the port and the interior regions. Still, large-scale projects of this nature often face challenges during implementation from procurement delays and legal disputes to escalation of to escalations as well as community resistance. Will this project maintain momentum and transparency through its route completion? What accountability mechanisms are in place to ensure the public interest is protected through the PPP life cycle? The coming month would determine whether the submitted feasibility study holds up to regulatory scrutiny, whether the financial structure and implementation plan can, be with, can withstand the complexity of such a large infrastructure project. Uh, in conclusion, we can say that uh, the submission of the 2,300 feasibility study for the 3.6 billion US dollars Nairobi Mombasa Expressway marks a pivotal milestone in Kenya infrastructure ambitions. Positioned as a transformative corridor, the Usahi Expressway promises uh, to redefine mobility, trade, as well as regional integration by drastically reducing travel time and introducing modern sustainable transport infrastructure. However, this promise must now confront the realities of the implementation. Environmental sensitivity, land acquisition logistics, financing transparency, as well as social equity. As the project enters the critical phase of a regulatory review, the robustness of its assumptions, risk model, as well as community safeguards will be rigorously uh, tested. The involvement of both global and domestic capital, particularly through the planned NSC bond, this signals a bold move toward financial innovation and local ownership. Yet, success will hinge not just in the engineering brilliance or investor appetite, but on sustained public engagement, accountable governance, as well as adaptive project management. The Usahi Expressway represents more than a highway, as we have been told several. 
It's a test of Kenya ability to execute world class infrastructure through private public partnership model that delivers a long term public value. Whether it becomes a flagship of modern development or a cautionary tale of overreach, this will depend on decisions made in the months ahead. So thank you for reaching this far. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever you upload a new video, you are notified. You can also leave your thought about this feasibility study and the project in general, as well as you can watch other videos that we have made in, in uh, different areas and leave a comment. Thank you.